Cato. What is going on, everybody? This is Dirk Grigadet with a brand new Who Gives Shit. You know, as an Xbox fan, I can sit right here and admit that this generation has been difficult for Xbox fans. The start of the generation, Microsoft just messed up badly, and the PlayStation brand took full advantage of Xbox mess ups. No doubt about it. And PlayStation has been rolling ever since. We all know PlayStation had a shaky generation, last generation with the PS3. I was not a fan of the PS3. I thought it was eh. Even though later in that generation, they started to release great games. But they learned from their mistakes with the PS3. Clearly, they learned from their mistakes. And from the beginning of this generation in 2013, PlayStation has been absolutely dominant. Yes, they've been dominating and they will continue to dominate. Now, if you guys haven't heard, PlayStation just announced yesterday at was it CES, I believe, that they have sold 91 million PlayStation consoles. PlayStation 4 consoles, I should say. Wow. That is absolutely ridiculous. Also, they've announced that they have 90 million uh, monthly PlayStation uh, users. I don't know if that's PSN, but whatever, that's a lot. I'm assuming that's PSN Plus, PlayStation Plus users monthly. And they also announced they've sold so much software. Uh, this generation was 800 million pieces of software this generation. Wow. And just this past holiday season, they sold over 50 million pieces of software. Spider-Man has went on to sell over 9 million copies. I know some of that was bundled with the PlayStation Slim. But regardless of what was bundled or what wasn't bundled, that's phenomenal. So I just wanted to do a video stating that PlayStation is a very dominant brand. They always have been, with the exception of the PlayStation 3. They made a bit of a stumble there, but they did recover. And I'm just like, wow, man, wow. What can Xbox do to compete next gen? Now, going into next generation, I don't think the Xbox would beat PlayStation next generation. No way, not worldwide. I do believe they will be more competitive. Unless PlayStation just does something absolutely stupid, Xbox will not win next generation either. But I do think they will be much more competitive. Uh, they Microsoft learned from their mistakes also, I believe. And it, it's just crazy to me, man, that the PlayStation is absolutely dominating. Oh, my God. You know, being on this... This, this this crumb side of YouTube and being an Xbox guy is is it is pretty bad. It's pretty rough for you because you got guys on Twitter trolling. Um, PlayStation guys have all the ammunition. Xbox guys, we have nothing. Uh, some some Xbox guys left, went to the PlayStation side. You know, I mean, the PlayStation Four is a great console to me. I got a PS Four in January of 2014 and I enjoy their exclusives I really do I play most of my games on the Xbox One brand but I do love the PlayStation exclusives no doubt about it and I totally understand why people love the PS4 I, I do believe it's a great system just like the PS1 was great the PS2 was great the PS4 is a great system and you know that's all I wanted to say I guess I wanted to do a video kissing Sony ass um, I know some of my Xbox guys are like, Dirk, what, what, what is this? And, you know, I'm, I'm honest. I'm an Xbox guy through and through. I am a 100% Xbox guy. Don't think I'm about to go to. No, I'm not going to the other side. I am an Xbox guy. And I always will be. But you have to give Sony kudos for this, man. 90 million. I did a video about a month ago stating how I believe it's more impressive what the PlayStation 4 is doing 
over the PS2. We all know the PS2 uh, sold what? 155 million consoles. But it is impressive what they're doing with the PS4 because I believe this is all gamers. Whether they're casual or hardcore, the PS4 sales is all gamers. Where the PlayStation 2 wasn't all gamers. It was some gamers and then there was also some um um you know some just people buying a dvd player let's call it what it is this is very impressive man i think gaming is so healthy right now it's so great for a guy like me who when i was a kid gaming was pretty much just for kids it was pretty much for kids that's what it was in in the 80s it's kids it's a kid thing my parents didn't really play games like that Nobody parents that I knew played games. It was just for the kids. Then what happened, these kids started to grow up. Like myself, I grew up, but I still love gaming. Therefore, the game started to get a little bit more mature. Then my kids started to play games, right? I don't have any grandkids yet, but I'm sure my grandkids will continue to play games. That's why gaming isn't going anywhere. Generation after generation will continue to play games because the games are only going to get better. Mobile gaming is a big thing now. Hell, my wife be playing on them damn mobile games all damn day. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo are doing great, and I love it. I love it. Even though Xbox has to get their ass whooped this generation, they're still doing pretty well. Surprisingly, because at the start of the generation, I didn't think they, hell, there was talk about Xbox shutting down. Yes, that was legitimate conversation. The Xbox was going to shut down because they really messed up bad at the start of this generation. But, you know, that's all I wanted to talk about, man. I, I really just want to give a shout out to Sony for what they're doing with the PS4. Even Nintendo's killing right now. Microsoft is doing decent themselves. Um, you know, the the future looks incredibly bright for the Xbox brand. PlayStation 5 is going to be a beast also. So I'm just, listen, man. We talk this fanboy shit all day. But at the end of the day, man, I just love all this shit. You know what else I love? I love that I'm about to get my black ass up out of here. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you happen to stumble upon my channel and you think I'm decent enough, why don't you subscribe? All right, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah.